Alright, so this is my one week post-op video. Uh, just a kind of an update of where I'm at uh, in terms of mobility or anything. Well, I can't really still do anything uh, because I have a splint on and a cast and I've been told not to do anything, let everything heal. Um, what I did have initially though is I think in my last video I explained how I had so much pain. That lasted probably three, three and a half days uh, after surgery where it honestly felt like somebody was drilling into my bones, which actually happened. Uh, it felt like that for about a half an hour, or like probably seven or eight times a day and at night. Uh, that lasted like three or four days and that was, that was terrible. Um, so that, that is finally over with, so I'm sleeping a lot better, learning how to sleep on my back, which is key. Uh, the other couple of things is uh, that I didn't want to take any pain meds or I really wanted to limit the amount of pain meds that I took. And when I mean that, I mean like the Percocets, the Oxycontins, uh, those kind of uh, uh, medications I didn't want to take. Uh, so I ended up taking two on my first night uh, after surgery. So I had surgery like three o'clock in the middle of the day. So when I came home from surgery, I think at like seven I had one and in the middle of the night I had one. And then the next night I had one. What I didn't do though, uh, because I was so against taking those pills, was I didn't take my stool softeners and uh, so night three uh, I had a lot of pain in my arm and a lot of pain in my stomach so even if you don't think you're gonna take those meds it only took me three pills and uh, and I was having stomach issues as we would say uh, the other key thing that's happened this week is uh, I've been able to have a shower I've gotten lucky that my sister's a nurse and actually worked uh, as an orthopedic nurse uh, for quite some time, but she just recently switched, like, uh, unfortunately for me, about a few months ago. But the key to having a shower is I take a garbage bag, and I put it over my arm, and then uh, you twist it, and then you wrap it under your arm, like, uh, under your armpit, and then you use medical tape, wrap it around a bunch of times, and it's, it's airtight, and I didn't come close. I had a nice long shower, which was phenomenal, uh, and uh, it didn't even, nothing got wet, not, none of my dressings, not even close. And then when I took the medical tape off, it's waterproof, and it also didn't stick to me. So it's not like I was going to use duct tape, which probably would have been very painful. So having the ability to shower and sleeping uh, has been very, very important in this next week, or in this first week. Uh, in a few days, I believe in about uh, three or four days, I'm supposed to get my range of motion cast or uh, brace on. Uh, so I believe the splint's coming off and uh, they're going to undo the dressings. I thought that wasn't going to happen for a couple weeks because uh, I do see my surgeon on week three. Uh, but I guess uh, in a few days here on day 10 or day 11, uh, post-op, I will be getting that range of motion brace. So I'm not sure how that's going to look, how it's going to be set. Uh, but obviously uh, that's hopefully moving on. Uh, the swelling. Oh, another thing is uh, since post-op, my swelling in my hand is probably gone down by 90 percent. Uh, I even feel like the swelling in my arm has gone down. Uh, I thought I had a hard cast on here but I don't. I think it was just my arm was so swollen uh, that it was puffing out but uh, that's gone down. Uh, so what I've been doing is I, I've been lucky. I, apparently a lot of guys have uh, stingers or numbness in their hands or on their forearms. Uh, I haven't had any of that. I've been lucky. Uh, so I've been constantly squeeze toying. I've been putting my arm up watching TV, just to different motions because I don't want to uh, lose the range of motion in my shoulder. So I've been squeezing a toy to get keep my grip strength up. Uh, I've been moving my wrist uh, up and down constantly uh, to keep that range of motion. I've also been tapping my fingers constantly to keep that dexterity. Uh, again, I don't want anything locking up on me or if it's going to lock up, I want it to keep that to a minimum. But so far, uh, I know it's going to be a long process, but uh, I'm looking... Uh, forward to again getting my range of motion cast on and then uh, hopefully uh, in a few weeks or whatever the time period is then uh, we'll move on to physio and attack that and start uh, start moving upwards and get my strength back so uh, we'll see what happens I'll, I'll uh, next video uh, probably be able to show you some scars and uh, hopefully not that much atrophy so uh, it, apparently it takes a long time to build those muscles up but it doesn't take them very long to uh, to shred them down Anyways, I'll see you next week.